Hey guys, here's a few things to consider if you're planning a renovation in a high-rise condominium. I'm Paul from Contact Renovation to Custom Homes. Welcome to the Art of Renovation. Okay, so here we stand in a penthouse unit that we recently renovated. And there's a few things I wanna show you that should be on your mind when it comes time to plan your renovation and considering the cost that you might receive from your contractors. There's a few things that'll certainly add to the cost, logistically speaking, and just overall within working in a high-rise building. So first off, we'll talk about this beautiful countertop. This is a quartzite island, close to 10 feet by five feet. This thing would not fit in the elevator. So when you're thinking about your countertop, if you have an island, for example, be prepared for the need to either cut your slab in half or pay for a crane to raise it up to the penthouse or whatever floor you're on and potentially take a window out to get it through. So that's a legitimate consideration. In this case, we opted for the seam. Still looks fantastic. Most people would never notice. One thing to consider in a high rise is you're going to have a sprinkler head or 15 of them in your condo unit. You need to be very careful about um, damaging a sprinkler head as it can cause obviously flooding and major damage to your unit and other units around you. So just be sure that your contractor or you are prepared to take certain steps to help protect those. You can put sprinkler cages on them to avoid the possibility of knocking a sprinkler head and causing the system to activate. You should talk about your contractor or yourself being trained on how to shut the system down in the event of emergency. These are important things to consider to avoid potentially problematic issues during your project. Something to consider as well would be um, they have a gas range. So if you don't already have gas in your kitchen, perhaps it's on your balcony, you do need to core or cut through concrete to get it here. It's not as simple as a wood floored frame structure, being able to fish it through a floor joist or whatnot. So keep in mind that the cost to upgrade to gas, or maybe if you need to run a special electrical circuit, say a 50 amp circuit over to do an induction oven, those costs get pretty significant as well. But um, cost-wise, those are things to consider. Beyond that, I think just because your space might be smaller in a condo, uh, might not necessarily be a smaller price tag depending upon what you intend to put in for the reno. If you have questions about renovating a condominium, please do reach out to us. I'm Paul from Contact Renovations. Have a great one.